Hey guys, so we're in Amsterdam right now and I'm so excited to be here. Fun fact, Amsterdam is my favorite city in all of Europe. I just think the vibes here are elite, like the cobblestone streets, the people biking, the cafes. Okay, there's a difference. There's cafes and coffee shops where they sell like marijuana products, CBD, infused food, all that kind of stuff because it's legal here. But cafes is where they sell like, you know, the normal, normal coffee, normal food. I feel like if fall was a city, it would be Amsterdam and I love fall. Today we're gonna be going to the Anne Frank house and to the Van Gogh Museum. And the last time I was here, we didn't get to go to those places. Also, we're staying in a really nice like hotel, hostel kind of place. And the, the rooms are so cool. Also the lobby, it's very artsy. Because I think it's really cool. It's like a loft style. There's like two beds on top and then a single bed in the bottom. So I wanna show you guys the room. The girls were staying in one room, and then the boys are staying in another room. I'll show you guys my outfit first before we leave. So I'm wearing this brown vest from Brandy Melville, and then this white turtleneck from Uniqlo, and these beige trousers. I'm just wearing white sneakers because we're gonna be walking around a lot. And then I'm wearing this cardigan that I got from Stradivarius. It's kind of cold outside. Last time I checked the weather out, it was around 9 degrees, but it says it's gonna get warmer in the afternoon. I feel like the top is very bulky, but I'd rather be bulky than be freezing. Before we head out, I wanna share with you guys how I keep organized even while I'm traveling. I have been using Notion. It is just a godsend platform. It's basically a, your own personalized space where you can just organize different aspects of your life and have it all in one space. So once you open up my Notion, you're gonna see my homepage. And for my header, I decided to put a photo of the New York skyline because anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with New York. The first thing that I have on my homepage is today's agenda. This is basically my to-do list for the day and I like to keep it on top just so that I can see it a lot more and that I'm reminded about it all the time. For to-do lists, I always like using a checkbox because I think it's the most efficient way to tick off things that I need to get done. So once you scroll down, you're gonna see my 2022 goals that I want to achieve before the year ends. So when you scroll down, you're gonna see six different categories. I'm gonna start off with weekly overview. We have my weekly page and this is something that I use almost on an everyday basis. I like seeing a whole spread of everything that I need all in one page. Let's move on to life. So the first is habit tracker, just a checklist of things that I want to implement in my daily life. Post on Instagram isn't really like a daily thing, it's just sometimes I forget about that. It's really cool because this habit tracker is actually already a template from Notion itself, so I was just able to use that. Christmas is coming up, so I just wanted to put a wish list of things I want to get for myself because you know, treat yourself. Let's move Move on to media. I have a very long list of TV series that I've already watched and my rating on them. And here are just a few of the books that I've read. My favorite, favorite book is Norwegian Wood. So let's move on to the word category. I won't go into too much detail on this. So the first category I have over here is YouTube. It opens up all the months of the year. It just shows every single video that I made that year. Let's move on to finance. So let's start off with my payment tracker. So this includes all of the projects that I have combined in total. Everything in general, income-wise, goes into this payment tracker. We have expense tracker. Now this I'm trying to use more often because I kind of tend to forget to list down my expenses, which is so bad. It has different colors for different blocks. So when I just look at my categories, I can see what I've been spending a lot on. I'm gonna try to update this more so that it keeps me accountable and keeps me more responsible. Let's move on to highlights. I love this page so much because it just has my reflections for the year, just some of my favorite moments. I love looking back on this page because it just makes me reflect on life and how grateful I am. Lastly, we just have this like fun little random category called bucket list for travel i just put a list of new places i want to see and a list of countries that i've been to just to you know remind me to be grateful you know have all these memories with me so the last ever page is thrills this is just like the fun page of things i want to do before i die and that was basically my notion spread i honestly love this layout because this is what works for me i hope this motivated you guys to you know 
be a strong independent woman and keep yourselves accountable for organizing your life okay now let's go out and explore amsterdam when you were younger you didn't see things quite the same Sometimes you wish you had stayed a clown Never ever knowing whether you're coming or going And right now that sounds like Ray's idea But hey, let's not get down about being a clown Or running away from town you eat so well and your friends can tell when that pastry's oh so brown never ever knowing whether you're coming or going so we're in front of the Anne Frank house and we're about to go in it's really huge actually and the cool thing about it is you can only buy tickets online so it's very organized and we're in the front of the line wait <laughs> finished at the Anne Frank house and I highly recommend you guys check it out if you're in Amsterdam what can you say very emotional yeah, very you historical can, you can really feel her presence there in like every room I love Amsterdam I would live here and everyone just rides their bikes with their iced coffees in their hand
Hey guys, so it's day two and it's really early right now but we're gonna be joining a tour and going to like the countryside of the Netherlands and then later in the afternoon we're gonna head back here to the city and go on a little afternoon bike ride. I have been manifesting to go on a bike ride here in Amsterdam for the longest time ever. I'll show you guys my outfit before we leave. So I'm wearing this thrifted jacket. It's cute. And then I have a white turtleneck underneath. This skirt is from Randy Melville and my boots are thrifted. Stay. 